Hi guys. I know I'm looking rough. I'm always looking rough when I come out here working in the van. It's, it's just hot here in Texas. So I'm sweating profusely, but now I'm kind of cooling off. I'm inside. I have the doors open. Well, the one door open with the bug screen that I made with some fabric from Joann's. I thought it was really pretty. I'll show you that. So it kind of lets some air through. I have the front windows open also. And I have my two fans on that are down at the bottom. These are my fans that I have going. This one, the evaporative cooler. I want to use this cool water. And that one down there I found at the thrift store. I'm just trying to see what it's going to feel like. <laughs> Being in the van with air conditioning when it's not cold. And behind that door water system that I've never used and I've tried to do with the kind of gray tank. So, the kitchen funnel and some tubing I found in the plumbing section. I'm going to fill that with water and test it out eventually. But I know it looks messy in here. I'm trying, still trying to organize everything, get everything together. And I finally, I finally managed to keep that up. I saw people, other van lifers, using a little flat piece of the wood. I could not figure it out. I tried yardsticks, then I have to cut my uh, paint stirrers, which are too short. So <laughs> I found these um, like kebab. Skewers, like there were big skewers that we had at the beach. Like, okay, so I'm gonna try that and see if it works. Oh, this is a curtain that I usually have down, but I pulled it up to try and secure this because it kept kept falling down. It won't stay up. Stay up. So I guess eventually when we're on the road, it'll be down. And I can have the back up and let a breeze flow through because the curtain only goes halfway, not all the way. So a breeze can come through there. And I have a window, the window socks for the front windows and the, the bug screen that I created there with some fabric from Joanne. I think it was like $12.99 yard. And I got this, I think that's just one yard. They had a scrap, so I snagged it. Then I had a coupon. Sorry about that. Road noise. I'm right on the end, the end of the road. Anyway, uh, coupon, Juwines always has some great coupons, but I, I want to find some way to secure the side panels because I added the white fabric uh, so it wouldn't just be silver on the inside. So we kind of brighten things up with all the white, which is what I was trying to do, but it keeps falling down. So I just have paper clips up there now. And I really don't want to have to put wooden skewers on all the windows. So all of them are just paper clips and covers. It kind of looks a little tacky, I think, but they're up there. But I do want to try and get some bug screens to go on these side windows, the, the pop-out windows. I want to get some bug screens for those so we can leave them open at night while we're sleeping to try and get a breeze. Um, a breeze going through from the front to the back and adding that third fan and I just, I'm just worried about being hot I also have a styrofoam cooler because they said you can make a swamp cooler with one of the styrofoam coolers and put one of the fans put a hole anyway I'll show you later once we get there I'll show you what that is but you, I'm sure you most of you know what that is um, put ice in a in an ice chest or cooler and I'm not gonna bother about the hoses or anything. I'm just gonna cut out a, uh, a circle at the top that's slightly smaller than the van. And on the side, I'm gonna cut out an opening. So I'll put the fan in top on the top where the cutout is and let the air blow over the ice and out the side hole that I'm going to create to make my homemade swamp cooler. And I just wanted to come in and just show you what I've done so far. And I need to find a way to get rid of all these cords because I have to have my fan and my lights and the cords and the paper clips. They just look a little tacky. 
so I'm gonna try and figure out what to do I mean I'm not a van life I don't live in my van although I love the concept of that I would love to do that but I still work a nine-to-five and my husband's <laughs> he's not on board with that at all so weekends and holidays I'm gonna try and do as much as I can as far as traveling and camping out in the van but I'll come back with you and once we're on our trip and let you know how it goes.